welcome back to the card mat, all you mataholics and all you non mataholics or yet to be mataholics. Right, this is um, a nice version of a real classic trick, and it's a trick I think everybody will know or at least know a version of doing. And if you don't know a version of doing it, by the time I've finished with this video, you'll know at least this one. Right, <coughs> pack has been shuffled. I like you to stack the card, so anytime, tell me to stop when I go down the side. So you're going to go, stop, about there, you're happy. Right, you've gone and stopped on that card there, which happens to be the Three of Hearts. Thank you very much. Right, you've gone and got the Three of Hearts. I want you to remember it. I'll tell you what, put your hand out. You can keep hold of it. Yeah, you've got hold of that. I haven't. No, I need my hand back. Right, so you've got hold of your Three of Hearts. I will give the packet yet another shuffle. Just to make sure it's all fair and above board. And we'll give it another shuffle. How's that? That fair? That's fair. Right, now I'll pick a card and I'll use the same method to make it fair. I'll tell myself to stop. Yeah, hold of the packet so I can riffle them. Stop. Right, I want to stop about there. Now I've gone and stopped on that card there. You got the three of hearts, remember. I gone and got a nine of spades, believe it or not. Now, if I take my nine of spades and just give it a little wave like that, and then give it a little magic spin, which was very slow. Yeah, I'll quit while I'm ahead. Little flick, my nine of spades becomes your three of hearts. Your three of hearts, which you've had hold of right from the start in your hand, because I know what I put it there, actually turned into my nine of spades, believe it or not. Well, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but it happened anyway. Um, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you... Now, I said I was going to show you, didn't I? Yeah, get on with it then. All right, look. What you need, you need a pack of cards, obviously. But you need one of them extra. Well, it doesn't have to be one of them, just as long as it's a duplicate pair of cards, right? Your duplicate pair of, duplicate, duplicate pair of cards, even, go on the top of the... And then a different card, which is contrasting, notice they were black ones, contrasting goes on the top of that. Now all you need to do is force that top card onto your spectator, without altering the order at the top of the packet. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can do a swing cut and keep the riffle stop cut bring back to the top. You could. Um, I used a simple slip cut off the top. So all I done was riffled, they said stop. You just grab hold of the top card and slide it off onto that packet as it goes away. But you do have to watch your angles. For obvious reasons, you can't do it like that, because they will see. You've got to try and make sure the back of that hand goes towards them. There, yeah. And then you can lift it up and you can be pretty free as long as you get that packet forward as you're bringing it out. There's no card. right? So there's always a good tip for doing it. When you get the stop, grab the pack, turn it on an angle out of the packet. And if you turn it out on an angle, there's less chance of them seeing anything. Right? Now, this is the top of the packet. That is their card. You're going to put it on the top of the top of the packet and trap it with your finger. As you put the packet back together and get it all squared up. Then as you pick that card up and you're picking it up to turn it, you're going to go over and back and catch a pinky break or you're just going to do a pinky pull down on the top card whichever your is your preference right as long as you just get a break on the top card so you pick that up you'll turn that over you put it straight down onto the top of the packet all nice and square and pick up them two cards so you got the three of hearts now you're going to do a thing called the ludicrous move and it is ludicrous because you get away with it so many times logic behind it spectators are seeing the packet facing down they're seeing their card facing up so when you do that they naturally expect that the tree is still facing up because most people aren't as clever as what you give them credit for so you just turn that packet over sticking that on the bottom causing half a beat as you say something like um do you you remember or as i did in the performance well you did see it, you heard what i said you remember the three of hearts for us or I'll tell you what better than that hold your hand out then you just peel the bottom card out and put it into their hand. You just give them the nine. You kept the three on the bottom, but it's the right way around when you turn the packet. So they think none the wiser. So they think they have got a hold of the three of hearts. 
over, pause, off. That easy. They think they've got a three of hearts. You can do a couple of false shuffles, false cuts, and then you need to keep the pack in the same order because you're not forcing that one on yourself, but you need that card. You're forcing that one on yourself. The second card. So again, I just done a slip cut. Shoo, pulled off the top card. This time when you transfer it onto the top of the packet and you put on the bottom of the packet back underneath, you're just pulling it in and squaring it up. So you can then do the dirty double lift. Ding, bing, boo, to show the nine with the three right behind it. Keeping them square, pinch it to the side and then just do like a paintbrush. Push it together, uh, together flush with the packet. Push with your fingers on that card and pull with your thumb. Just so that card stays on the top of the packet and it doesn't look like anything's going on. See, that's the card, I've still got hold of it. It goes straight in. You start pushing out and you just trap it with your thumb as you come away with that card. They think you've got hold of the nine of spades. You do your magic little gesture and you have their three of hearts and they have your nine of spades. And then if you want to, you can just palm that card off and ditch it somewhere and you're all clean to carry on doing other tricks. You haven't got a duplicate in your packet. And how's about that then? I don't want a duplicate in my pack because that one's coming out. That's out of a different pack. You tell that's out of a different pack, look at that, it's got the corner clipped. Yeah, that's a, that's one of my finer cards, that is. Yeah. To prove. Look, oh, it's a little finer. Anyway, I'm digressing. You, you, you've seen the, the trick, didn't you? Look at that, I even missed me find a card. The joys of using an oldish deck. There. De -de -de -de. To find a card. Cook card. Cream card, whatever. Shut up, get off, you boring people. I know I am. I love boring people. I bore myself to teeth. I not bore everybody. I'm shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it, even with a bit of madness at the end. But that's me anyway. Uh, I hope to see you again. Please come back. Please. Uh, and I'll see you again soon.